Okay, Therapati. So this is the Therapati that Jen has been referring to. When I first met her, she wasn't able to really lift objects or, or, um, hold, or hold things because she was very weak and she didn't have fine motor coordination. Mm -hmm. So this looks like fun, but it's really not. It's uh, very heavy duty stuff. Mm -hmm. So she has to make different shapes and work on fine motor coordination. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So show your balls. Hang on one second. And then I want you to turn it into a hot dog. So squeeze or use the table. I don't want to get this on my shirt. That's okay. When people have it, make sure you put it in the fridge. It will get very sticky. So make a long hot dog. And never come off your clothes. Right. You have to put it in the fridge. And then what I want you to do from here is I want you to put your fingerprints in. <laughs> so each finger, I want you to put big prints. Good, and then I want you to use your middle finger with your thumb. The middle finger is the hardest. Well, you can go one by one. You can pinch these two, pinch these two, um, pinch these, and then pinch these. And then I also want you to practice um, pushing each this, finger, this like snap. you're giving fingerprints. Yep, we'll do the snap after fingerprints. Push as hard as you can so you make big dents. And what this does is this helps to strengthen all of her, it's called intrinsic muscles of the hand, mm -hmm. so that she can do fine motor coordination or just simple pickup activities to keep her arches in her hand. Now I'm going to do the pole strong. snap, so I'm going to make this too long. Well, that's a tough one. Yeah, I got to, don't want to get so much hurt. I made her long hot dog and sometimes I have trouble with this mm -hmm. exercise. So I want you to twist, twist, twist and snap. Oh, all right. So this works on her arm, it works on her upper chest muscles too, but mm -hmm. it also works on most of her hand muscles. Mm -hmm. Now she's working more on fine motor, she's using her forearm pronators oh, and supinators. So what you want to do is you want to twist, 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 and snap it quick. That's the trick. Okay? So you want to twist, 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 squeeze, and snap it quick or else, woo! that happens, right? <laughs> That's when it gets on your toes. So let me see you try to do it. So twist, 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 and snap. Hold your finger. Ah, that's it. And keep them apart. Make two more if you can, and then we'll make some mini. Try it again. So it's going to be quick. Yeah, it has to be pull and snap. We go a quick snap to pull it off. And I never did it. <laughs> yes, you have. It just takes a little while. Twist it. Make it really skinny. Bring your fingers close together. There you go. All right. Good you job. Did it. And there's a small little snap. Do it one more time. There you go. Do one more. Oh, they got stuck together. So I have to keep them apart. All right, do one more. Okay. You're in the window. Pull and snap. Twist, twist, twist. Look, squeeze and snap. There you go. Now my hair's caught cool in there. <laughs> we'll get rid of that. Okay. So now what I want you to do is I want you to each, with each of these little guys, I want you to make mini, mini meatballs using your hand. Kind of like what we did the other day with, uh, what did we make? We made some cookies and we had to roll them into mm -hmm. balls. So she exactly. had some more exercise. Okay, and then let me see you from there. Yeah, make little meatballs. Use, oh, switch hands. Use switch hands. Do one with the left, one with the right. Good, and then put that one down, and then try that one, and then after you finish with that one, I want you to use your left hand. Good job. Okay, try this one. And ask Amy a knife that I wear, or something that I try not to. And you also have your rocker knife to practice cutting. I, oh, I told her I tried to cut it in the, the, um. Try that. The. Yeah. Um, one that after the braids that I sleep with, it helps my hand do this. Uh huh. It keeps it straight, right? Um, yeah, I'm just looking for your rocker knife. Yeah, you did a good job today. She she cut cucumbers, so she had some little. So you can show with this. Uh -huh. Activities of daily living. Right? Yeah, so this is. A, let's put something down because I don't uh, have that to... mm -hmm. Wait. No, I just want to put it there. And then show them how you practice your cutting. So I want you to cut. Watch my hands. Yeah. 
So before she started cutting food, this is how we used to practice her cutting things because it's hard for her to cut with two hands. So this is called a rocker knife. Mm -hmm. And that works on her ability to eat independently where someone else doesn't have to cut her food. Mm -hmm. But it's very sharp and it's a one-handed type of technique so that she can manage cutting and doing things on her own. Perfect. Cool. Right? Good job, good now job. Now you can cut steak if you want to. Now what I want you to do is I want you to squeeze each of these into little mini wieners, okay? You can make them into wieners and you can squeeze them. So you work on the other side muscles of your fingers, okay? okay. So she's do doing this in between each finger? Yes. That's a good idea? Okay. Just scissor them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. That's my alarm. Nice alarm. Okay. Yeah. Good job, Jenna. Thank you. Kind of reminds me of uh, the different uh, activities that a piano teacher would give a pianist. So all of these are stepping stone exercises mm -hmm. so that Jenna can be more independent and functional with all of her daily living tasks. So if it's getting, you know, br brushing her teeth again, what? sticking things on her nose, <laughs> uh, eating again, <laughs> cooking if you want to help with baking. So it's, these are all things to get her stronger. So they're called mm -hmm. prerequisite skills. They're short-term goals mm -hmm. to a long-term goal. So that's why we do fun things so she can be more independent. And that's what that's occupational funny. therapy is. Okay. Okay. So good gosh, job. Good job. Beautiful. Give me a smile and a wave and hold this cup. Very good. Very good. You're the same. Uh -huh.